guys, today I'm here with what I believe to be my truly, or at least my most minimal makeup bag ever. I did one of these videos in the summer, which I will link to down below, and... I mean, it really wasn't minimal. It depends who you ask, it depends what your daily routine is, but this one was definitely more minimal for me. No foundation, no concealer, no eyeliner. When I'm on the beach, and I'm on a beach vacation, I really don't want to put anything on my face, so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to bring it because it's just going to take up space unnecessarily. So I'm going to show you what was in my makeup bag along with the hair and skincare that I brought along. If I didn't already mention it, I will link to my Bahamas vlog down below. We had uh, such a great time, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually glad to be filming this after the fact because the last time I did one of these, um, I think I filmed it before my vacation, so now I can actually also talk you through everything that I actually used, what really, really came in handy. So the first two things for me that are really important are hydrating my lips. So the first one is the Drunk Elephant Lip Balm. I think you've seen this in the majority of my travel videos. I always take this one. Actually, this is my boyfriend's because my boyfriend likes it as well. So one of us will have it on us. It's really comfortable, really hydrating. But then I also wanted something to put on my lips at night. And you know how much I love the Laneige Lip Mask. So this, of course, came along with me. I cannot recommend it enough, especially if you're spending all day out in the sun. And this is the kind of thing that I use every single night religiously at home. And I find when I go on vacation and I don't take it with me, I always regret it. So these are essentials for me. The other two essentials that I brought along were the items that I wore every single day. Uh, the first is a brow gel. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I believe they market this as waterproof. It definitely sticks around. I would put it on in the morning. We'd be at the beach all day. Uh, and then in the evening, I would go to kind of like check out my face and my brows would still be in place. It would still be there in my brows. I cannot recommend this enough. And then also I brought along a waterproof mascara. I don't wear waterproof mascaras unless I have to. The only time I wear them is when I'm on like a tropical island. I don't like them. I don't find that they perform as well. I've tried a bunch and I don't like that they take a long or like a longer time to come off or more effort because I don't have issues with holding a curl or smudging or anything like that. So I love a regular mascara, but I do like this one. I like the original better. It is the Maybelline Total Temptation. I, I didn't find that this um, moved around or smudged or anything like that in the water. I mean, I didn't do anything that intense, but if you would like to see my waterproof makeup tested video that I did this summer, I will link to that down below. I do a full face of waterproof makeup, get in the water and test it all out if you'd like to see it in action. So I brought along the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and honestly, I didn't reach for this once because I didn't even know it was in my bag. Not that I necessarily would have. I've been doing eyebrow threading lately and I really am just pretty pleased with the way my brows look, um, especially if I'm going for like a more minimal look I definitely don't feel the need to fill them in so I brought this with me I do really like it but I didn't reach for it and I forgot it was in my bag then I brought this face palette and this is pretty much the only face palette that fully works for me that being said when I have a little bit of color the bronzer is not as good as it could be but I love this face palette it's the Too Faced natural face palette I did only reach for this twice so in hindsight I didn't need to bring this by only taking like a third of my makeup bag I really kind of took this as like a safety blanket I don't know why I think I'm gonna like run into a situation where I need to have like a bunch of makeup on but anyways I do love this face palette I love the selection of shades I love the highlighters blushes bronzers I think it's such a good palette and it's really nice to have a face palette that actually works for me because the majority of them don't. I took along a liquid highlighter. I did wear this a couple days and I also was vlogging along with shooting a swimsuit lookbook there. So that's why I will have a bunch of lip colors to show you. Otherwise, I would have just stuck with my um, lip balms that I showed you along with a gloss that I'm going to show you momentarily. But if I didn't have to shoot um, that lookbook, then I wouldn't have brought any lip color at all. But um, this is the Kiko Metal Fusion Highlighting Drops. I talked about these in a recent natural makeup video. Really like these. I love the color. They're so easy to apply to the skin. And I wore these um, with no foundation and I didn't feel like it looked chunky or completely unnatural on the skin. It just gave a really beautiful glow. The lip gloss that I was mentioning is the Fenty Gloss Balm. This is the original. I love this so much. It's universal for a reason. It adds a really nice glow to the lips. And it's the kind of thing that uh, I, I, as I mentioned, I would have just not brought any of those lip colors, brought this and have been totally, totally satisfied. 
That being said, because I was shooting that extra video, I wanted to have some fun lip colors to wear. So I brought along the Bite Beauty lip pencil in the shade 40. I mentioned this in my lip liners video, but it's kind of a universal shade for my skin tone that I feel like goes with everything. So I brought that along and then I love pairing it with the uh, CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. This one is in the shade Coral Chronicles. I'm obsessed with this. It's one of my absolute go-tos, 100% wood repurchase. It's just a beautiful color when paired with a lip liner. And then I brought this and I also thought I brought the coral shade. Actually, I know I brought the coral shade because I wore it on the first day, but this is the uh, L'Oreal Color Reshine in Glossy Fawn. Again, a really easy color to throw on. Um, I anticipated getting more dressed up at night to go to like the a la carte and the dinner and the buffets and all that, but normally by the end of the day, I was like, just washed from being out in the sun all day and the way I looked was absolutely not, oops, see daisies, absolutely not a priority. One of my favorite colors to bring on vacation and just in general, it's just so summery and gorgeous. Uh, this is the Clarins Water Lip Stain and this is in the shade Orange Water, so gorgeous. I did like, it's, I can barely call it a get ready with me, but I have like a 15 second cut down of me getting ready in the morning one day in uh, Bahamas. So I'll link to that down below if you'd like to see this on the lips and if you'd like to see kind of the look that I got with this makeup bag, I will link to that video down below because obviously I'm wearing a very heavy face of makeup right now. I brought along one of the MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. I actually, I actually meant to bring the orange one, um, but I brought this one and I did end up really liking it. Again, I am wearing it in that vlog if you'd like to see it, but this is in the shade Lasting Passion really gorgeous, really red, but also really coral, super bright, really comfortable formula. It's got an interesting texture. I was afraid they were gonna feel a little bit dry, but they're somewhere in between, I feel like, the matte and those like ultra retro mattes, if that makes sense. I wanted to bring along a red because I brought yellow sunglasses, I had a leopard print bathing suit, um, but this is CoverGirl's Exhibitionist Lipstick. I love these. I've got a um, lip swatch video that I will link to down below. They, use, they have some amazing formulas and they don't smell like the old CoverGirl lipsticks, which is very exciting to me. This one is in the shade Hot, which is like a perfect red. Then from Estee Lauder, this is one of my favorite pink lipsticks of all time. It's in the shade, I should know it, um, Rebel Glam. It's one of their pure color love lipsticks. And then finally, I wanted to bring along a purple, and this is a newer one from Mary Kay. It's in the shade Grazi Violet, and it's just a very true purple. So I ended up wearing every single one of these with the exception of the Mary Kay, uh, either in my vlog or my lookbook, but again, would not have brought them if not for the lookbook. It was just so nice and so freeing to not be wearing makeup and I mean I love makeup I, I put a ton on today because I haven't worn any in a while but it was just so nice at the end of the night to not have to worry about like taking off my makeup or I could touch my face and my skin is clearer I was I had freckles and it was just so nice to be barefaced but anyways um I don't feel like sad to be wearing a full face it's I love wearing a full face and I love having a bare face. But anyways, I only brought three brushes with me. So I brought the MAC uh, 140S, which is my favorite bronzer brush. Then I brought a blush brush. This is the e.l.f blush brush. And then for highlighting, I brought the Inglot 4SS. So it was nice that not only could I bring less makeup, but that also meant less brushes and it was just less overall. Really quickly, I wanna run through, probably not really quickly, but I wanna run through the uh, skincare and hair care that I brought as well. And I would love to know if you are a curly girl, how do you travel? Like I want to, I'm going away this summer and I just booked something and I wanna do it all carry on. But I'm like, I need my curl definer. I need certain things because especially if I'm taking photos or if I'm vlogging, I'm gonna wanna wear my hair down pretty much every day and I don't feel like I've mastered second day curls. So I'm going to London and I'm gonna be going to Rome as well. So I feel like in London, I'll be able to buy a curl definer, but like Rome, I don't know. Maybe I could pack a curl definer and not use it till I get to Rome. Let me know what you do, what your tricks are. Anyways, um, this is something that I basically just keep stocked for whenever I travel. It's a fishing tackle box, I think. I've mentioned this before in my other video, so I won't go through everything that's in it, but, uh, and I still haven't fully unpacked, but I've got like bobby pins in here, hair elastics, tweezers, cotton pad, uh, an extra contact lens thing. There's little like silicone nipple covers in here. 
uh, Q-tips. I put like my rings in here, super, super handy. And I basically just keep it stocked with all of those items besides like my rings and contact lens stuff. But anything that like can just stay in there, like the cotton pads and stuff, just so handy. And it keeps it all together. And it was on Amazon for like 10 bucks. So for my hair, I decided not to bring a shampoo and conditioner and just to bring a co-wash. I had never done this on vacation. I don't know why I never thought of it, but really I don't need to be shampooing my hair while I'm already getting it in the salt water and drying it out and I'm only gone for seven days. So I brought this Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus co-wash. I mentioned this in a recent uh, haul video that I did and I ended up really, uh, really liking this. It was good for detangling. I felt like it hydrated my hair. And then in the shower, I would always use my Tangle Teaser. I can't remember exactly which one this is, but I cannot travel without my Tangle Teaser, even though it is quite big. But yeah, really love those together. A lot of the time I will bring minis of shampoos and stuff, but because I again tried to pare down in the clothing that I brought, I decided to just bring my full size hair stuff for a few items because I find I put it in the little containers and if I don't end up using it, then it just stays in the container and like the mini one and I never end up reaching for it again. But anyways, um, so for my leave-in conditioner, I brought the Marc Anthony Bye Bye Frizz leave-in conditioner. Really love that. For my curl definer, I've talked about this before, it's Kristen S. The curl defining cream this is available at wall.ca if you're a canadian target if you are american then for my hair oil you can see i have two different oils in here just because i was kind of using the bottoms of two different oils but this is the moroccan oil there on the top and then the bottom is the phyto um ba baob oil probably butchering that so that was kind of like my uh, my wash day. I ended up washing my hair a little bit more than I probably should again because of the lookbook. Um, but then to finish off my hair or to try and refresh it in the evening, I use the Marc Anthony Bye Bye Frizz. I also always bring an empty little mini water bottle to spray my hair with water if I want to. And then really something that I started doing I think this summer if I'm going on like a beach vacation is bringing something like this to put in my beach bag. So this has my curl definer, my oil, and my leave-in all in here so that when I leave the beach with wet hair I can just slather this all over my hair to ensure that I'm not totally drying it out because curly hair is finicky and also like when it dries in the sun after the salt air it can look really cute and beachy or it can go really wrong so it's good to add just a little hydration after you're leaving the beach. Another item that I probably definitely would not have brought if not for my lookbook but I want to mention it because I love the way it looked. It is the MAC Prep and Prime. Uh, you can see it, the writing has kind of gone off of it here but this is the Gold Light Fix Plus. So it's the Fix Plus that has the gold in it. It looked so beautiful on the skin so if you're taking any photos or anything like that I thought it looked gorgeous. Probably not the safest in terms of sun protection I would still wear my sunscreen but then when I was taking photos I would spray some of this on and I thought it looked gorgeous I love that it's not an oil that you rub on your skin because I feel like a lot of the shimmery body products are these heavy oils with like color in it and I don't like that it feels like it would be too heavy and like it would be too much but this is enough like you could wear this in the day almost because it's such a fine mist it's not huge chunks of glitter so I thought it was really really beautiful also for the hair I brought this and I didn't use it but it is the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter um, hair mask and I didn't use it so I can't try I can't say how it is. I have not tried it yet, but everything I've tried from Diva Curl I've absolutely loved. This was actually the first time that I brought, I always bring a hair mask and a face mask on vacation and I almost never use it, but I actually did use my face mask this time around. It is the Glam Glow. I probably should have brought like a hydrating mask, but I brought this one because it was a mini. Uh, and this is the original kind of like super mud clearing treatment. So I did actually reach for that, which is really exciting. Didn't reach for the Diva Curl one, but I'm sure it's great. I will have to use it and report back. I did bring along a Kiss Glue because I wore uh, Kiss the false nails, not the press-ons, but the ones that you have the option to glue or press on. And I did glue them on, so I brought this along with me. Uh, if you saw my vlog, again, you'd see the style of nail that I wore. They're so convenient for vacation. Brought along my mini little razor from Venus. I can't remember what they call this, but super, super handy. And then for my body butter, I'm trying to put this behind me without having to look. My body butter, I brought the uh, Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. This is, um, I don't love the scent of this, but it is a really nice body butter. It's a little heavily scented. It's like got a high scent, if that makes sense. Um, it's a little perfumey, I guess. And I prefer something a little bit more fruity or a little bit more subtle when it comes to my body butters, but I actually do really like um, the actual body butter itself. I just don't love this specific scent. 
And I haven't shown absolutely everything I brought. Like I obviously brought deodorant, a toothbrush, toothpaste. But for skincare, I used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel. Oh, also for sunscreens, my um, <clears throat> the swimsuit lookbook will go more into detail because it is in partnership with Neutrogena, which is so exciting. They make some of the absolute best SPFs. If you missed it, um, list the three different sunscreens that I wore while on vacation. They're all great for oily skin and especially dark skin because we don't want to be turned purple. But I did bring along this little mini of their hydrating cleansing gel, which I really like. I love the Hydro Boost line. So for most days after I would do my skincare, I would apply my SPF and I would mix some of this in. It's the uh, Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. And I really love this because I wasn't wearing foundation and because my body gets a little bit darker than my face, it just really evened everything out. It doesn't have any coverage, but you know like when you have a tan and like things just look better. So I really like mixing a pump of this into my uh, SPF. It doesn't make my face any more greasy and I'm definitely going to be using it now that I'm back. I brought an eye makeup remover. This is the Body Shop Chamomile Gentle Eye Makeup Remover and I have a big size of this in my bathroom right now and I feel like that one's kind of irritating my eyes which is odd because this has like a lot of claims about being good for sensitive eyes but I don't think I noticed that while I was away. So I need to keep using it. I love the chamomile cleansing balm that they have. Uh, I talked about this in my most recent favorites video. It's the Indeed Labs Squalane. I feel like this is helping to change my skin. It's so good. I normally wouldn't bring like a full-size glass bottle with me, but because I love it so much, I was like, I don't want to stop using it and get off of my streak. So really love this. Highly, highly recommend it. I talk about it more in my favorites video. And then lastly, for the rest of my skincare in the evening, I would use a combination of the TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum from Drunk Elephant and I would mix in some of the watermelon Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer from Glow Recipe. This is a mini, it's a glass bottle, but it's a really nice light moisturizer. And I would mix in the Squalane as well. So I would do Squalane, um, TLC, and the Watermelon Moisturizer. And then in the morning, I would use the Watermelon Serum, not on purpose, but the Watermelon Serum from Milk. This is a little tiny, tiny, um, not even sample size, I guess they call it a mini or whatever, but it has a really beautiful cooling feeling. So I would use this in the morning followed by my moisturizer, then my SPF and the Drunk Elephant. So that is everything that I brought along with me. If you're like minimal, but I was talking minimal makeup bag, not minimal skincare, hair care, body, you know? But I would absolutely love to know what you do um, as somebody who has curly hair. I know a lot of people are a lot better at extending their curls, but I find if I put it up in a ponytail or if I get it wet or especially on a beach vacation, but I'm going to be going away in the summer and I really, really, really want to do carry on and I don't want to have to worry about bringing a bunch of product with me for my curly hair, but I want to wear it out curly and I want to be able to wash it a couple times during the week. So. Anyways, if you have any tips, let me know. Uh, let me know down below what are your absolute essentials for travel. Is there anything you have to bring? Is there anything you always skip? I'd love to know because I feel like it's the kind of thing that you may not think about. Like for me, bringing always bringing a shampoo and conditioner, and I was like, wait, I should just bring a co-wash. I'm only going for seven days. Also, when you're packing your makeup bag, pack it in the order that you put it on your face. It's the best way to avoid... Um, not forgetting anything. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!